Come on, capture rage, move your booty. A little bit of chat going on, we want to see. Have a lot of fun indeed. Elevid, this is the Burmese you didn't get to play. Prepare yourself. Oh, wow. I tried Burmese against Duke Canada on Hillfort. 4K on Fairy, wow. Gamber is live, by the way, if you guys want to uh, get your gambling going. If Jade did say hi to you, Sip, but I think you may have missed it amongst all the chatter. Okay, so we're going to get Spanish here from Prairie Wild, who we're going to again change to yellow. Um, playing in the northern hemisphere of the map. Um, looks slightly isolated compared to the two. Could work in his favour. Um, my dear, playing the Matrix. Um, so we're, sorry, we've got Vikings here for him, not Spanish. Vikings, of course, get access to long ships, the only civilization in the game that do. They don't get access to fires, however. They're called warships, not long ships, but they're long boats, essentially. Um, their warships are pretty cheap. They recently got buffed. And Bugs Viger, which is the uh, Imperial Age tech, actually gives plus one attack to their um, warships now as well. And their docks also cost 15% less. On top of that, the Vikings get um, Wheelbarrow and Handcar for free. Which, uh, yeah, means that their villagers move faster and gather resources faster and carry more. So it's pretty good. Yeah, they don't get they don't get fire ships at all. They get demolition ships, they get war galleys, they get elite cannon galleon, and they also get uh, longboats, which are tremendously good, tremendously good units. Um, we go take a look at the Burmese being played by Gamers DC in the blue. Burmese get the free wood upgrades from the lumber camp, so double bit bow saw, two man saw. Um, they get them for free. One of the best eco bonuses in the game, similar to that of the Vikings, so also have a great eco bonus. Um, the infantry get plus one attack starting at each age, uh, per age from the feudal age, sorry. Their monk technology is cut 50% less, and a rabbi can be pretty good at destroying buildings. A rabbi come in as the unique unit from the castle. Um, they also get access to mana for cavalry, which gives their cavalry for attack their buildings, but I don't think that's going to matter too much in this particular game. And last but certainly not least, with the most exposed TC out of the three, I mean, fairies can be ranged from the water. Gamers cannot. Elevids can be ranged from both sides. There's a very unfortunate um, island generation here. Um, I'll just say a dock come down. Is the Spanish. Spanish get 20 gold for each technology they research. The builders build 30% faster. Pretty quick. The blacksmith upgrades don't cost gold either. Plus, like I said, 20 gold for each technology. So that's pretty good. And their gunpowder units do fire 18% faster, which also applies to cannon galleon. But not just that. The cannon galleons also have a separate thing, which means that they benefit from ballistics. So they also fire faster and are more accurate. So absolutely insane unit and will devastate you if they can get into them. But that's the only real thing that they have going for them on water. Otherwise, they're just pretty basic water sieve. Of course, they do that conquistadors. They conk and dunk some of the strongest compositions you can get. They also get pretty much fully upgraded monkeys, which I know some people in the chat, <clears throat> Jow, will appreciate. Um, and we could see some monk landings from Burmese, from Spanish, not Vikings. Um, but that could be pretty fun. That could be pretty fun. Um, it's also worth knowing that trade units gen generate 25% additional gold for the Spanish. Now, why do you say that? This isn't a team game. True, but you're allowed diplomacy. So you can set up trade with somebody, even though you can't team with somebody. Also, if you kill somebody and their dock is still up, you can still trade with it. So imagine if Elevate had like a dock here, a gamer had a dock here, and gamer's dead. You can just set up trade all the way across. Konkonok is a fantastically strong comp and very annoying to deal with. Don't you question me, J-Rod. Oh. But yeah, how was the coach cast? You never said. Well, maybe you did say and I didn't see it. <laughs> it was very good. Nice, 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 nice. 
Again, the initial opening should favour Gamer, and you see it does 28, 26, 25 in terms of economy units. His uh, water opening does seem a lot cleaner than the other guys. Yeah, then I've got a 3-1. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Shake that booty. Shake that booty. Going on to the barriers. You can long pull these to begin with, uh, especially this one. I wouldn't worry too much about dropping a mill here just yet, unless you're looking to FC, in which case you need the mill anyway for Blacksmith Market. So, probably mill the other side of it, though. We'll see. I like Gamers Island. He has the best island, I feel like. Golden Stone is super safe. Um, secondary gold safe as well. Got the safe line here. I don't like that we're taking this one first, because if we do lose water, we like we need to fall back onto this. But probably won't matter too much. And it, his TC can't be ranged from, from the water. At all, even by um, kind of gallons, I don't think. Maybe, maybe from here. It would, I don't think so. It's close. Very can be ranged from the left. Kind of gallons can range it from the right. Very long island. In fact, none of his golds are entirely safe. And well, we've already discussed how shit out of his island is. If Oliver loses water, he's dead. Because man, it, it's, man, what a what a terrible island generation for him. Prairie Wild makes it to the field blade first. Second dock is going to be added in. So this is the problem for Gamer. Out of these two civilizations, Vikings are terrifying on water compared to Spanish, which are not. But Edelblad's got two points and... Ferry's only got one, so... It's sure, you can maybe kill Oliver, but then Ferry gets the win. Because he's master of longboats. But then if you favor, if you focus Ferry Wild and, and take him out, and then Oliver's maybe being free booming, and if he does win, then he wins the whole thing. And already, villages and a scout to be transported to the middle here for Ferry Wild. For Ferry Wild, for Gamer, sorry. Elevid also has a transport with a villager in. Only one villager for him, though. Not sending the scout is an interesting choice. Uh, just an oversight, I feel like. Try not to move around the map too much, but would have been a, a free for all. It's a bit more difficult. A bit more difficult. And look at that. Look at that low elo mining camp. Perfect spot. Golden stone, both one tile away. Second tile doesn't even become. Inefficient, really. Nice feudal arrives for the Spanish. So, all three players now in the feudal age. Thinking about where they go next. It's a blacksmith coming down for very well. Just fish being made so far, though. Military units. There's two out for the Vikings. So, he's got the galley on his, on his start and scout, of course. Gamer's going to use their transport to scout. I think Ferry went to deal with it and then realized there's nothing in it, so said, heck it, I don't really care. Yeah, now see, if you, if you transported a scout over instead, your scout could be doing this. Instead of your villager, he's now going to find a wolf. A villager that's carrying three food. Oh, no. Oh, villager, please. Oh, villager, please. Is he not reacting because he's being shift clipped? Is that why? Now he'll fight back because he's run out of commands. Wow. He lives, though. You don't want your uh, fishing ships taking shore fish. Elevid on island, says Gamer. Gamer on island. <laughs> Don't ask how I know. <laughs> Damn it, Elevid. <laughs> I love that. Oh, another wolf. Need some quick waltz. Need some quick waltz. Two more attacks and this village is done for. Oh boy. And yeah, 
And Elevid loses the Vil. Gaia takes the win on this one. One kill to the Big Bad Wolf. It's going to be a castle and a monastery in the middle. A ram by in amongst the secure relics. A great relic spawn for Ferrowile. All five towards the top. Who again is just loving life right now. Booming away. Cast laser eyes for uh, red and blue. Yellow yet to catch up. But he's nearly there. Oh yeah. Didn't you have to accept it at the door though? We've had loads of people come to the little retreat and be like, you're at the wrong address, bro. Like, it looks like this number, but it's not this number. You're probably looking for that number. Yeah. Wow, that's so dumb. For food as well? That's dumb. Castle on the mainland for Elevid as well. So Kong's face is a ram by. Both have accuracy issues. Pizza, wrapped pizza, and two portions of kebab for the L. I wouldn't say no to free takeout. You eat it, and the people who order show up are asking if it's here. No, sir. What delivery, I say. Smelling of garlic. <laughs> oh, four around by. Straight into the castle. Great reactions from Dylan, though. Doesn't take a single arrow. Again, Bemis know where all the relics are. One of their bonuses. So, you can see them all in the fog of war. Well, yeah, they won't be able to take it back anyway, right? So, very realizing he should join the other two on the island. And that could be great timing, as the scout's going to spot the monk. And even if reaction time, this monk will perish. 100 gold gone. Uh, fairy does a little bit of a dance on the monk's body, and then continues on his way. Yep, the lead the bar action runs back to the transport. I think that is the smart play. The lawn dart's being thrown by the Arambai. Oh, another wolf, but this one gets shot down immediately. But it's not, this is the one with the kill. I think Elevid's hunting it. It's like, no, you fucking... You mouthed me. And yet there is again. This wolf, he wants more blood. I guess he's seeing red, literally. They'll eventually outrun him, right? Although... No... Barracks and or stable. Barracks come down now, which means no bloodlines, no husbandry for these conquistadors. Well, yeah, I agree with JR. There's 19 galleys, war galleys now. And there we go, there's the longboat transition for Fairy Wild. Uh, wow. The wolf was put to rest, but. The navy is scary, but it's not being used. Nobody else really has much navy at all. Uh, they're all contesting the middle, which is a bit bizarre. But yeah, if, if Ferry hasn't really scouted much. If he could, he could legitimately go and kill Elevid right now. <laughs> like he could just sit here. I think with Bodkin he ranges. Definitely with the longboats, these things have insane range. Well. Uh, They go to 12 range or something in the end. Oops. The Rambai was converted by Elevid. <laughs> I'm a conquistador, I promise. Everybody else around them using guns and just do throwing darts. Uh, you live in America. It makes sense to be paranoid about stuff. About everything. It came from the Dohadash gods. Didn't you hear the heavenly sound when it arrived and you opened your door and it was just there and a light shone on it and just said, ah, 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 ah. Castle being built on a hill instead of a barracks. Scout gets found. Scout gets killed. Those get found. Those get left. 
I wonder if uh, we've got a Tolman in yet for game out. So around by us, scouting towards the southern part of the island. Dunks to heal the Kunks. I did say Kunk and Dunk is going to be the play. Two conversions. Maybe he's got devotion. Oh god, here comes the, the navy. I love it. it's gotta be prepared for that. Five fires does not a naval defense make. Tolman went in for Elevid. Overall pop count, 90 to Fairy Wild, 82 for Gamer, and 70 for Elevid. Eco is exactly the same for all three players. 57, 57, and, well, was, they go 57 now for Gamer. The military definitely favoring Fairy Wild here, though. Although it is all naval. Yeah, Fairy's been playing with a beast this entire set, honestly. Oh my god, Castle Drop! I didn't even see this. It doesn't range the TC, though. I guess he doesn't know where the TC is. He just guessed it would be in the middle. And he says lol. But a Rambaya here, though. I love this from Gamer. I absolutely love this. Monk Micro isn't quite there, though. He's going to try to split them up now. One conversion comes through. But this is this is so bad for uh, Elevid. He's going to have to start transporting Kongs over. That's just got to do. He's got to transport here. Start bringing army home. I don't know if we're missing chat. I feel like we're not missing chat. Look, it's here to show. Oh, the second cast will do it. If the first one doesn't. And yeah, gave up, sold a bunch of food and likely bought a girl uh, stone. Yeah, this one will do it. And man, this is the first castle drop to win a game we've seen. But how does Elevid defend this? I don't think he can. It's got to be Rams. Does he have the wood? He does not. He can go to Imp. He can go to Imperial Age. But then what? Imp into GG? He's got fires coming over here to stop any more landings. But I think it's too little too late for that. And yeah, he's, he's clicked Imperial Age. I don't think that's the play. I think you need to sell food, buy wood, make a workshop, and get some Rams or something. I, I don't know. I don't know what you can do. Is this sneak petards into gamer's base? Maybe, yeah. He'd have to export. Right, so he's got to make a treb. Get it over here. Put, and then kill this castle before his castle, before his TC dies. That's, I mean, it's doable. But it's going to be rough. Oh, wow. A fairy is raiding gamer right now with the longboats. See how quick these things kill villas as well. Defensive castle for game up. Yeah, look how quick this thing is dying with the around by in it. Shooting what? An additional 16 arrows? So yeah, 20 arrows in total this thing's shooting. Ferro makes imp. Got to break his own record. Almost, but the repairs are in. The wood's gone though. The wood's gone for all of it. And he can't access it. All of his wood's under these castles. So he's just got to mine gold and, and, and buy wood. And obviously he's got the villas on the mainland as well. Gamer can click him if he hasn't already. He is not. Imperial Age, 10% out. But the thing is, putting all these repairs into the TC, he now can't afford a trebuchet. I mean, the trebs are in the middle of the field, it looks like. But yeah, he's put them on a transport. Oh, wow. Could you imagine if, like, 
Fairy snipes Gamer. But then Gamer's Castle kills Elvis TC anyway. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe he's scared of the Kong. So maybe he's scared about the fact that he's being pushed at home. Uh, he's, he's kind of in two places at once. But yeah, I would like to see him die with the around by and just get this dealt with and then he can focus at home. I that, that, that's what I would do. I, I agree with you. I think it's the it's the right play. He is a tremendously good player. He's just trying to send the run by home. But the transports have been melted, so Elephant says no, you came here, you're not allowed to leave. Run by a stalk here now. And he's going to try to build a dock. Yeah, he definitely wants to get these around by home. I think you need to go and kill this. And he's still not clicked imp either. Okay, he has. He's just got so much resources. Then he's fine at home. And he can make traps. He can make traps. He needs to buy some wood, though. I don't want to save room for Elevate to lose, but man, I want to see more games. He's starting to run out of gold here as well. More repairs coming through. He hasn't been able to afford a treb yet. The game has got two trebs on the way. Oh, here comes the here comes the snipe. The bills are coming! The bills are coming! Game is sending everything, but you need to repair the TC though. He's gonna repair the TC. Send oh my god, send your trebs quick. Send your trebs. Okay. He's got one will repair and it's not gonna be enough. Gamer says, oh no. Gamer's TC falls, but he's got two trebs firing away at TC at the same time. There's a bomb bug. There's a cannon galleon out, but it's not going to be soon enough, I think. Oh, the castle's firing. They run by weren't in it, though. Elevid is running out of wood. He's out of wood. Oh, he's trying to buy wood desperately. Did he get it quick enough? He did, just about. Oh, my God. Another shot from the trap as the wood runs out again, and Elevid is gone. Elevid is gone. And very wild. Takes the win from the grave. Dylan says, You're coming down with me. He grabs the ankle and says, No, brother, I will not drown alone on this map of migration. We need to get a timer check. I think it was like 35, so we should be okay. Yeah, 36 minutes. Yeah, so we're fine. And um, Ferry doesn't get the quickest TC snipe. That is still owned by, by Dylan. Man.